as a testament to who your true enemy is. The events in this video are fictional as the characters portrayed within. Any similarities to anyone living or dead are merely coincidental and have been created at random by XCOM's name generator. Seriously. Oh, also contains strong language, you've been warned. I don't actually know where we are in this campaign. We just came off a mission. Oh, yes, hold on. Here we go. The man from Exalt. <laughs> the one that, the prisoner that we're forcing to fight. Yep, he is now been bound by slavery. Nice. So he is our cannon fodder. Quick yeah, promotion that here. Kind of go either way, isn't it? Oh, it's definitely going to be holo-targeted. Okay, Kent, holo-targeted. I say we just spin over the globe and see what comes up. Um, I've actually been starting to worry about Exalt, the actual Exalt missions, how oh. we're going to do them, because, I mean, dealing with the numbers of Exalt that there are, it's going to be a pain, but it's not going to be a problem. It's just going to be annoying having to, do, you know, switch over 20 soldiers each time. Right. But the problem's going to be, Squee, is that there are a lot of reinforcements in those missions. And I suspect that with the AI turned off, those reinforcements aren't going to show up. Oh, that is true. So, yeah. Huh. Which not only would it break the balance of the mission, it would also mean, would the mission end if the units aren't appearing that I have to kill to end the mission? Um, because... Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, actually, no, in, well, actually, sorry, in both the missions where I had to escort somebody in White Nerd Down and uh, Over Exalted, where I had to get that Exalt guy, in both those missions, the mission ended when I got um, the VIP to safety. Uh -huh. So maybe it will be okay. I mean, we'll have to, we'll have to see. Right, we'll Cause... have to see. All right, okay, let's spin the clock. I've got laser weapons coming. Did I want to build something here? Is there something building here? Um, did did I want anything there? Foundry. I. I how how's the power doing? Power's looking good. Why would I want to build anything there? I have to remember that I'm supposed to be helping you on this part. <laughs> <laughs> I have to remember that we are not. Uh... Oh yeah, let's You're build. Not always enemies. Oh my god, I haven't built a repair bay yet. That's really bad. Um, uh, uh oh. So yeah, if you manage to damage one of my expensive new laser weapons, um, in the next ten days, I won't be able to repair them until the repair bay is built. I hadn't realised yeah, it was built. I still haven't played beta fifteen, so I'm still very unfamiliar with repair bays. I do. I understand how they work. I yeah. haven't actually used them. Was I going to take over a country? I'm in South America. I wanted to, to take Argentina, so that was going to... I mean... I don't know what's going on! Um, so that would take 21 days. How long would it take to build a satellite? Um, 25 days. So, and when's the end of the month? Well, usually it's the 30th, or the 31st, Mickey. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly. Uh, so, it's the first now. This takes four days longer to build than a satellite up uplink. So, as long as I start building a satellite uplink in the next five days, then everything should work out okay. If not, I'm going to have to sell corpses and stuff, which, I mean, I can do. Okay, let's just spin the wheel. Let's just spin the wheel. Uh, yep, laser rifles. Oh, yeah. You guys want satellites and you want weapon fragments. Yeah, no. I remember now. Japan wanted weapon fragments. They're not getting them. They are not getting them. Nope. Alloy plating. What am I? Appreciate your efforts to support the research team, okay, I'm building improved body armor. Put the new recruits to work in the lab. Uh, oh, March I was doing May. that. I was going to... Uh, <clears throat> I remember I, was, I wanted to address there was a uh, comment in one of the videos. Uh, that I watch and I enjoy. <clears throat> Excuse me. About uh, it was about the um, always critically wounded mod. Yeah. And how it'd still be fair because you have reduced time to heal them. I think they changed it to like what between two and five turns. Yeah, but I've changed that again. <laughs> well, it, here, here's 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 the thing. 
is that with a character or player of your caliber, and I guess you could take this as a compliment, but with a player of your caliber, and really any player worth their salt, the two to five turns is not really the problem because if you're careful, you kit your soldiers out correctly, and you play smart, you'll always be able to, well, you'll 99% of the time be able to get to them in time. Here's the thing that I've found about that that I have a huge issue with, that I understand they want to make it random, but what I would prefer, and this, this is the thing that I've always said, if you make it random, make it clear what the end result's going to be. If it's yes. not random, then we know from the start. So if they want to make it random, they should keep the number of turns. Because remember in vanilla, it would show the number of turns it would take to tick down before they yes. bleed out. Yes. I think if they're going to make it random, they should keep the number of turns it would show to bleed out. In, in, in a strategy game, you need, you need it. Because the whole point of a strategy game is to be able to strategize. Yeah, and you because strategize there's no point in risking people's lives at trying to save someone. You literally have no zero chance of saving. There mm -hmm. is no way somebody in the back lines, I mean, in, you know, in an example situation, someone at the back, like a sniper with a med kit, can make it in two turns and heal. It's just no way. Usually, right. and this is the thing that really, really bothers me. As, well, as you say, a, a player of my caliber, I say a player who's played long enough to, to know better. Um... That three turns is enough. If you can't get to them in three turns, you're not going to get to them. For one reason or another, you're overwhelmed, you're struggling to win the fight anyway, or frankly, you're retreating outright and that person's going to die. Two turns, on the other hand, makes a huge difference. For most people, like myself, I give medkits to snipers, as an example. Snipers tend to be about three turns behind, in terms of the, the layout of the squad. That w would obviously include using the medkit. Now, if it rolls on that two-turn timer, that soldier's dead. If it's right. more than three turns, then it doesn't make any difference because I was three turns away anyway. So I would never see it go beyond four or five, uh, beyond three turns because I would always be in range for three turns because that's how well, the, the squad's I, laid out. I would even say that if you wanted to, if the player wanted to make the conscious decision, if you knew that two turns is what you're getting, right? Like, let's say we know it's two turns every time. It wouldn't be hard to modify your strategy so that you can, 99 times out of 10, always get there within two turns. Yeah, if you knew it was me two turns every time, then you'd be like, well, I'm not going to give medkits to snipers, am I? I'm just going to give right. them to yeah. assaults and gunners. Like, like, because honestly, you could make the conscious decision as a player fairly easily to, if, if your soldier's always going to be critically wounded instead of killed, you could make a conscious effort to almost never lose them. Yeah. Uh, but remember, the with... what is if you get overwhelmed. But remember, with a two-turn cooldown, that means that it's literally one turn move, one turn activate medkit. Exactly. One you turn have one turn to get into position to use that medkit. And I agree, that's difficult. I'm fine with it like you. I like it. I like the idea of... Uh, now, as far as the critically wounded itself, being random is fine if they still give you the numbers. My, my thing was that that's why I was defending my choice to take off the everyone gets critically wounded <coughs> instead of the chance to die. Yeah. Because if if you wanted to, or if any player wanted to worth their salt, they could use that to, unless they are constantly overwhelmed, save most of their soldiers. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, as you said, against um, impossible level enemies, um, you can quickly spiral out of control. And you'll oh, be God. in a yeah, losing yeah, yeah, yeah. battle, and, and for weeks I, I and weeks you could play a losing battle and end up losing. But um, when we're playing against each other, it needs to be fair to a degree. Granted, I have to win the vast majority of the missions as an XCOM soldier, or as the XCOM command, because otherwise, you know, it's game over. But it has to be fair to a degree that you have to have some hope of winning. And I think that we need to uh, still keep it in our back pocket, because who knows, maybe eight months down the road, we're going to have to re-implement that as a method of fairness, because it's just too hard the other way, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we need to, we'll, we'll have to be flexible, like everything, because there's nothing saying that a year from now, I will just have so many troops and so many numbers that you'll need that just to keep soldiers alive. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, I mean, as, like, with, you know, firing rockets and grenades in terms of exalt, we will deal with that when we get to it. Mm. Um, but I've got to say, oh, I need to keep an eye on the date. When it gets to the 6th, I need to actually, let's say the 5th, be on the safe side. When it gets to the 5th, if I haven't had a mission, I have to sell everything I can to buy that satellite, satellite uplink. Um, right. So what I was going to say is, on my YouTube campaign, it is the 1st of May or the 2nd of May, and the first terror mission has just swung round. Oh. Oh. So. So, terror mission time, maybe. 
I think it is terror mission time. I ran three extra campaigns just to make sure what I was going to face. And it turns out in your first terror mission on impossible difficulty, it's always four floaters, floor, four floaters, and four chrysalids. Every single time without fail. Not including to the zombies that turn into chrysalids as well. Um, but what I found out is with Dynamic War, it happens in May, not in April. Usually uh, in normal, it happens in, you know, the end of April. So it is due now. Mm hmm so do we um, want to make when this happens do we want to make any rules to limit my chaos honestly no the, the only rule i was going to say about um about terror missions was if you target a civilian that civilian has to come under my control in the following turn and i have to be able to control them because you won't be able to target them unless i make them an enemy from the game's point of view which means when right. i turn them back they're on my side there's no way to make them neutral i i, I don't know how any command that makes them neutral as opposed to enemy or friendly okay. so for you to target them they have to be an enemy which means for them to be back on my side it has to be friendly and okay. I think that's fair. If if you target one, and for whatever reason, as unlikely as it is, you don't kill it, which I think targeting civilians always is 100%, um, then it's under my control and I get to use them. I think that's a fair a fair trade. I think that's I think that's a fair yeah. thing as well. And honestly, I mean, all you can do is run away with them. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I think also it would be fair to also make the rule that any zombies must con constantly move towards the d shortest direction to XCOM. Um... Oh, right, yeah, we need to deal because with Because I have uh, never seen a zombie and... do a flanking maneuver or anything like that. No, no, I think you should be allowed to be able to dash towards XCOM, but get behind concealment. I think there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, I, no, I think I think fine. for now no, you should no, be able to play how you want. That's fine. I, 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 and I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm saying that I don't think <coughs> zombies should be able to do complex maneuvers like I'm going to circle around them far to the right because zombies just go towards the enemy. That's what they do. I don't. I agree that it would be good to use concealment or use whatever I have towards me. But I'm saying I don't think zombies retreat and I don't think they do large flanking maneuver type things. That's just not what a zombie does. I'm going to leave that down to you. I mean, okay. accord according to the law, it's the chrysalid in control of the zombie. So oh. they actually act the same. Oh. They're, they're con you, know, you know, like Half-Life headcrabs? Yeah, they're, te yeah, yeah. they're all technically zombies, okay. but they're being controlled by a host. Okay, so uh, scratch that. I'm going to have a zombie division. Um, yeah. They're going to have, uh, they're going to practice their zombie maneuvers. The, the only thing that reminds me of uh, is that I am going to have to change the way the turns work on a terror mission because zombies will burst into chrysalis twice as quickly. Right. So I'm going to have to treat terror missions like bomb missions where instead of switching sides, I give my side its Extra turn turns. back. Basically, yeah. yeah. So it'll be, you take your turn, and on the same turn, I give my soldiers their turns back, their units back, and then allow right. them to move, and then end the turn, as opposed to end the turn each stage. So yeah, I'm going to treat that as a, uh, as a bomb machine. So, no! No, you can't! You cannot have my weapon no. fragments! Ask my, for anything else! My weapon fragments! Uh-oh, no mission to... Oh, this isn't a terror mission! I really hope it's not a bomb mission because I'm not prepared for that either. <laughs> Although, with the drop downs in a bomb mission, it's, it's much easier because I won't trigger the bomb until all You're of ready. your soldiers are dead, yeah. So yeah. that means the AR should be on, which means they should all drop down. But I will have to do that whole reset moves for the soldiers if it is a bomb mission. What is it? Ooh. Oh, it's this one. Huh. This has a lot of drop-down soldiers. Yes, it does. So, okay. okay. A member of the Triad Criminal Organization has squealed to one of our contacts. Although we have little interest in the crook himself, he allegedly has in possession, in his possession, a piece of unique technology in the, in the shape of a way OP pistol. We'll need you to investigate. We will transmit further details to Central. The OP pistol he throws away. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I have this incredible technology. Bang! Five damage to a sectoid. No, I want that gun. I, no, 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 don't. Oh, it's gone now, isn't it? Yeah, you can't ever get it back. Okay, uh, so. Med kit. Okay, we've got a lot of med kits. Uh, six HD grenades, two flashbangs, um, motion tracker, battle scanner. No rockets, though. A um, couple of scopes. And yeah, I think four med kits.
Okay. I'm loading the mission. No oh, idea how it's going to go. You know, um, one really cool thing I'm going to do in my terror missions for my YouTube campaign is oh. every terror mission I'm going to spawn in a rookie, completely random rookie, somewhere on the opposite side of the map. So if that rookie survives, I get an extra soldier. But it's not a big deal in terms of the mission itself because it will still be just a rookie. I, I can't see that. Because that way it will bring more soldiers into XCOM roster. Mm -hmm. Okay. Half my squad is in their uh, skivvies. Oh man. Whew. I can do this. I can do this. Can do this. Can you do this? I don't know what it is about Long War in vanilla. This mission never, ever gave me any trouble. In Long War, every single time I've had a struggle with it. Okay, this is nice. So I've um. Come on then, Zhang. I, I, Hold on. Oh yeah. With his um embossed suit. You must be my contacts. No one who fears reprisal would make an entrance like that. Give me that gun. Not so different from killing a man. And he throws it. Yeah, I love that. He it throws it to the sectoid. For them to realize I'm missing. Especially since I've got this thing with me. If you take me with you, it's all yours. That's our man. Okay, sure. So hang on a second. Um, so I'm going to need a fairly big grid because if I need 18 on either side, that's technically a grid of, um, what, 32 by 32, I think. Um, or no, like 33 by 33, something like that. I'm not sure where my boss got this thing. Because you know you need 18 on every side. Yeah. Regardless of their intentions. Oh damn it! You are a heavy gunner, aren't you? Shit, you need to move up. Don't trigger. Good. That was risky. Don't trigger. Oh. I forgot I gave him an LMG, which I did want to, because it's quite a, a long map. But, yeah. Okay, so I've got everybody in position, so I am ready for your queue. Okay. Um, no one dropped down, huh? No, no, I haven't I haven't triggered the end of the turn. I'm, I'm just okay, waiting for okay, your, okay. your all clear. I'm all clear at the moment, because I don't have to, I don't need the graph yet, so. Okay. Good. Okay, so enemies should drop down, um, and remember, the the pods shouldn't screw up until you actually get a turn as the aliens, because it means the AI has to go off. Ooh! Oh, um, yeah, let me do this. I need to drop a an anchor. I nearly forgot about that. Drop man uh, one. Okay, there we go. So I've got this guy here. He will be our anchor. And everybody else is good to go. Zhang, you can just hang back. Uh, yeah, keep your head down. Everybody else, overwatch and do what you can. I haven't really got a lot of firepower right now. Not since we moved. My squad's kind of been mobile, but let's do this! Woo! Okay, yeah. So there are reinforcements right now. Oh, I knew it! Oh, one seeker down. Good shot, Ooh, Shiv. Wow. Nice. Nicely done. You missed everything else, though. Okay, so you got a thin man and a seeker, and the drop downs are... One thin man exposed. Good. Another thin man exposed. Good. Okay. So the drop downs were two exposed thin men. You've got one seeker and one thin man he looks like a leader, I'd imagine he is. Um, can I motion track? So I can't see anything else. 
Oh, no, no, no. Don't. Don't do this to me. I... How can you not see anyone? I don't believe you. Dun, dun. Okay. I suppose that pillar's kind of in the way. Maybe I'll give you that. I mean, I can see him from your point of view. And... Okay, fine. Those those um, tombstones were also in... Alright, fine. Fine. I'll, I will give you that one. I'll give you that one. Um, but... We've got our gunner good to go. Oh, God. Of course you're not going to be in range, are you? Um... <coughs> Okay, well, you're just going to have to do what you can. Move up in concealment. Don't trigger. There we go. So we've got 64 there and an 84 there. So, sniper, don't let me down. You've got snapshot. 84, make it good. You bastard. 84%. Okay, so my sniper missed an 84 on an exposed thin man. That's good. All right. Infantry, 65, come on. You, what the fuck are you people doing? I'm starting to get pissed off now. <laughs> this, this isn't okay. Um, we are going to have to start getting desperate now. Scout, you have to run two overwatches. Um, who can you see at that range? Okay, you can see him. Good. You need to run here. Who's going to shoot? You're going to shoot. And a miss. And okay, we've got another... Oh, 6%. No, good. You might have blown up cover that I needed, but that's okay. Okay, 85. Please get rid of that damn seeker. Assault. Please get rid of this damn thin man. 100%. Nicely done. Gunner. Oh, shut up, Zhang. No one cares. The only thing they care about is how good a soldier you're going to be if you survive this. Um... Hmm. <coughs> okay, well... I'm going to make you shoot him. Please don't miss. 74. Okay, we're good. Okay, now Shiv, you need to move up and be dangerous. Okay, no new contacts. That's good. Now, Grenadier. Moving to position. You're going to be in low cover, but that's just how it needs to be. This is just how things go. That's just how it goes. It is. It's. I, I'm not a fan of this mission. I'm going all in. Okay, now... This all comes down to you, Brown Thunder. Can you hit this 74 with your giant turret of a machine gun? Probably not. Nope. Nope, he can't. And... Oh, no, no, no! Whoa. Okay. Whew. Okay. Right. Yeah, actually, wouldn't have made a difference because I've got this anchor here. Okay, that's fine. God damn it. Okay, well, Zhang, you stay there. And... The AI is off. And the anchor's working. So, yeah, Zhang, you stay there with your head down. And let's just switch the sides then. Oh, what? 74% for fuck's sake. So, yeah, this is your thin man. Oh, no, enemies are dropping down. What? Enemies oh, are good. dropping down. Well, then I did all this for nothing. It, it shouldn't work. The AI is off. The AI is off. Uh -huh. Okay, so just for you to know, you have a thin man here. You can't use him yet, though. 
Not until next he, turn. Yeah, he should drop down on, on my turn, or at least on the end right, of your right, turn. Right. So I, can't I get to use him yeah. until next turn. Yeah. So, yeah, I've actually set out. Yeah. So I switch his can side. You put, can, you, can, can we at least put him on Overwatch? He. Yes, he will. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll set yeah. it up so he will be on Overwatch. Okay. Um, in that case, I need to end the turn again. Again. Oh, good. This might make things simple. Uh, <laughs> this might hope, make hopefully it stays like that. Okay, I need to end the turn again because he'll be on Overwatch. So, end the turn again. The arrow is off. Okay, yeah, it's fine. So, yeah, so you can only control this guy. This guy's going to be on Overwatch. So, Mr. Thin Man. What are your plans? Who do you want to target? We have got a Shiv out in the open. Pretty good shot, but you'll do low damage. And an Engineer in low cover. What are my chances to hit? Uh, do you want to go to a cover first? Or just see the chance to hit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, ooh, ooh, okay. Uh, You're in range of quite a bit of full cover. God, you didn't I get know. up here. Yeah, actually, that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to go up there. Um, I want to go up there to... Why am I using my mouse? No one can see it. Um, <laughs> the 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 closest big tombstone to you, like like three over to the right, basically. Uh, yeah. This one, yeah. Right. Uh, no, 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 no. So the furthest one. Oh, furthest the, one. This one. Yeah. So that one. Yes. Hi, Chronic. Okay, okay. Hey, Chronic. Jump up. All right. And your chances are we've got a fifteen, a fifteen. A 48, 15, and a 30. All right. Acid that guy right there. The the one that's next to my drop down. This guy, yeah? Yeah, that guy. I probably shouldn't tell you this, but he has a med kit. Most of my squad um, have med kits. And I really okay. shouldn't tell you. <laughs> but it'll hurt his um aim, nonetheless, right? It will hurt his aim, yes. Yeah, so still, do it. Okay, Acid. I guess it doesn't really matter if I acid your thin man. So let's put it at angles. Actually, I'll, I'll do you a favor and try bring it. Yeah, try it. Right round like on this side, so people might get hurt moving up. So go there. Because there is still there strategy we go. to this. It'll hurt his aim, and he, the the thin man is actually in concealment from everyone else at the moment, except maybe that last guy. Yeah. Uh, is that the only one I'm on control of right now? Yeah, this guy's going to be on Overwatch. I need to do that after I switch to the side. So, yeah, this guy goes on Overwatch. And then, ooh, time for my actions. So, remember, your primary target is Zhang. All you have to do is right. kill Zhang to end the mission. Well, not end the mission, but to make me fail the mission. Yeah. yeah. Right. Sniper, what can you do now? Well, you can actually hit him. Ooh. That's, ooh, okay. Ooh. That's something. If it wasn't for that sniper, you might have actually had an issue. Maybe. Well, no, because my assault's like right here. Well, up I against... was hoping to get his aim down enough to. But Never like, like at this range. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> at this range, he's got a, an aim bonus from his shotgun at sixty-six. Well, poop. I, I actually originally thought he was a gunner for some crazy reason. I thought it was a gunner, but um. But even so, at this range, the gunner should have max range with the acid. Um, I yeah, the acid is only something. minus 20. Um, so... I don't know. It's only 100%. <laughs> um, okay, you know what I'm going to do? Sniper, can you redeem yourself? No. Whoa! No, he can't! Wow! <laughs> you are I so say. bad! That is... Oh, wow. Whew. Um, okay, Assault, do you have a close combat specialist? Yes, you do. Oh, I can't use Run and Gun, because I used it last term. Just, you know, just so I remember. Um, um, I don't... Oh, man, how... Ah, that sniper. Give up. Yeah, give up. It's, it, we're done now. We're just, that's it. Yeah. Okay, so... I'm looking out for you, pal. You know, I want to be risky. If oh. I move the infantry back one, I won't trigger Overwatch. I'll be in concealment, kind of. I'm on it, 
can I shoot you? Yes, I can. So I didn't trigger shot Overwatch, and I can shoot you. Ah. Okay. Well. Oh well. Say lovey. I began to fear the implications of our involvement. Okay, so I need to check where the pods are. So let's do a motion tracker. There are no pods apparently active. And I can get just, a flank. We're, just not moving. we're standing still. It yeah, it could be. Um Do you have low profile? I don't think you do. Oh, you do have low profile already. Okay. So Really? I think Frank Sinatra has a rather high profile. <laughs> um Okay, let's move you up. And you, you can holler target. Just over the holiday season. Yep. Is it just me, but all those singers, like Barry Manilow, Frank Sinatra, and a whole host of others that sing all the Christmas carols, do they all sound like the same guy? Because to me, they all sound like the same guy. Honestly, Christmas carols in general all sound the same anyway. <laughs> you could you could you could have Frank Sinatra or Barry Manilow or any of the other there's like two others that are really famous sing like, you know, White Christmas and I'm not going to be able to tell who's who. Yeah. That yeah. That that's pretty true, yeah. It it wouldn't make much difference between them, would it? Um no. 36%, but I will hollow target if I miss. Well, regardless, I'll hold target. Okay. That's I'm fine by me. You missed. <laughs> now that I've got hollow target, I'm going to move myself up. I'm going to assume, considering the motion tracker's got like an extra five vision on it, five tiles of vision, maybe more. I should be okay here. There is no way I should trigger. Go in here. I would have the aim penalty from the acid, but I'll also have the aim bonus from the hollow targeting and the range. So, what is your chance to hit? 68. So, it would have been 88 without the acid. Let's see if that acid <laughs> saved your life. <laughs> oh! Ah, uh, yay! The acid is actually worth it. Maybe, possibly. You're not over. You're not done yet. <laughs> Flush him for sixty-nine. Magic number. Oh no! wow! Curses. Oh, oh I can he still hear that thing, man. Flank the guy too. <laughs> I can hear him running. running. I yeah. know he was he was moving to here. Yeah, I know. Oh my god! You, are... if he had, that, that would have been amazing. No, it wouldn't have. Well, it would have been for me because I have close combat specialist. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> he was moving in to flank me, and uh, Spectre was... would have been like in slow motion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, poor Thinman. We've already forgotten your name. Yes, that that guy, Thin Man Leader. Oh. Things could have gone really badly. It's it's kind of the first turn where things go bad. Usually, on my previous um, encounters with this map, I've had two... On the first turn, on the first turn, I hadn't even moved up. Two pods move in of three enemies each with Seekers as well. And then a Thin Man drops down here. And then another Thin Man drops down here. And I'm just like, what am I supposed to do on the first turn? The only thing I could do is kill the one on the, on the left and run up. But there's just not enough room. People just get flanked. The Thin Man go everywhere. The Seekers flank me. And I uh, I don't know. I I just really don't like the idea of um, what Long War did giving reinforcement aliens. Um, they put them into cover when they flank you. So you know Vanilla, they put, they put them into Overwatch. Long War, they right. made it so they would go into cover and flank you and Overwatch. And it's like... Bad. Ridiculous. If you want to put them into cover flanking you, that's fine. If you want to put if you want to put them on Overwatch, that's fine. If you want to do both, they're instantly putting you in a bad situation, no matter where you are. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we've both said it before. Like, we love Long War, but I think we both agree that Long War started trying to make things as hard as it could possibly be, just for the sake of making it hard. Um, I I don't think that's the case. I feel that they were doing it to stop exploits. Without realizing that in a game like X XCOM with a difficulty called Impossible, you win by exploiting. Snipers are exploitative. It's what they do. In real life, that's what they do. So, you nerf them by what? 
I, I remember there were well, um, comments in the forum the, saying that snipers would um, no longer be able to deal damage um, on, or you wouldn't be able to deal damage on a revealing shot of a pod. And it's like, that's not realistic. That's not fun. It, it, why would yeah, you? Yeah, I would say <laughs> my, my, my counter response to that would be you're not, you, 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 you know, by trying to limit exploits, you're also limiting how we can play the game. Yeah. I yeah. think a good mod, and I think Long War does this most of the time, a good mod should give you more options, mm. not less. And it absolutely it should does. Not yeah. Limit how you play, it should. Uh, because, you know, if you think that's an exploit, don't do it. If you think it is an exploit and you're okay with doing it, that's your choice. You know? <laughs> Like, uh, we have self-policing. Uh, I, 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 oh, I, Squee, I play, hold on. I hold on. Okay, are they coming? Yep. Yeah. I am s incredibly happy that the reinforcements are working on their own. Even happier right now! Oh, oh that one, not so happy. Wow! Really? Wow. Okay, so that one is so, so good. Where's the poison? Where is your poison? Which direction did you fall? Okay, you fell backwards. So I'm going to assume the poison is kind of around the sniper. He doesn't have a med kit. So I can't really move him up. But you do have a thin man way, way back here. Way, way back. So I'm going to fall back just for now. If for no other reason, then just to reload. Because why the hell not? I might as well take out a turn, take a turn out to reload and let you decide what you want to do with that thin man. Pretty sure everyone has to reload. Uh, the AI goes off now, right? So, yeah, I'm going to just let everyone reload. Zhang, you hunker down. Now, let me grab this thin man. Oh, oh my god. This traitor, this traitorous um, civilian... Given away my position. That's, that's just disgusting. Okay, let me skim around to this side. Okay. okay. So, um, now end the now. turn. Up, okay, more reinforcements! What the hell? Stop it! What? Okay, these guys oh. you can't use. I can't use. Okay, so... That guy. That, that, that guy, guy, that guy. I thought, no, no, when the camera swung back, I was like, oh, no! Yeah, okay, so that guy you can't use. He'll be on Overwatch. Actually, I need to, if that's the case, I need to end the turn again so I can actually put him on Overwatch. So, uh, AR's off, end the turn. Okay, so he's got moves back. So, what is this thin man going to do? He is going to... He's going to run up to the lion statue and just go on Overwatch. So, go to the... Hey. Yeah, that one right there. You, right there. You can get into... Con well, you can't actually get into consumer in a single turn. So you want to go here on Overwatch, yeah? Yes. Yes. Woo! Okay, you want to go there on Overwatch. You're going to stay there and be in Overwatch. The AI is... I see? <clears throat> oh, no, it's the civilian giving away my my position. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you. I was going to say, that is a hell of a distance. <laughs> I know! <laughs> All it's going to take is for you to have, like, um, thin men in the mid and late game having extended range. Oh, that's going to be a nightmare. Okay, um, I'm, I'm so glad that the drop downs are working. Yeah. Because it's, it's a sign that in other levels it might also work as well. And Me too, I say, wistfully looking at all this. Stuff. <laughs> I know, sorry, no, Squee. I mean, it's much, you, you can no, just it's much, it, you can just keep it in a folder. You can keep it in a well, folder in case it doesn't work. Because we know it hasn't worked in the past. So. Well, yeah. Well, no, the, the truth is, it's much better this way than us relying on Lady Luck to screw one of us over. <laughs> <laughs> you say hopingly. Um, okay, so infantry, one step back. Won't trigger Overwatch. Then... We have got an 85. Don't let me he down. He was dead the moment he dropped down there, so I'm not even sad. <laughs> you know, okay. I got I to get with my strategist on this whole dropping down thing. It doesn't <laughs> seem to be working. Well, if this was vanilla long, war, uh, vanilla long War, not my version of Long War, the Thin Man would have dropped down here. So I wouldn't be in range to flank him. He will be flanking me, and he'll be on Overwatch. Right. 
That's what happened in Vanilla Long War. Which, are you, do I still have vision of you? No, I don't. No, no, no I changed that. I changed you back. Um, so yeah, he'd be on Overwatch here. You could run the Overwatch, but then what? You can't get in range to shoot him. You can't blow up his cover. I like, I like the idea of having him flank, because that makes logical sense. You would mm. think the Thin Man would know not to just stand there. Um, but I well, I mean, like the way the, of flanking and Overwatch. The way that I've always thought the reinforcements are, is if as you you have a scout sheet, a scout ship flying across the map, at, you know, a hundred miles an hour or so, you know. Really high speeds. These, you know, Thin Men are genetically engineered. They're pretty tough. And the Thin Men just dive out the plane. Or dive out the ship. And they, they just land whatever. Because they've got jumpy legs. They'll survive the landing. So where yeah. they land, I've always thought, you know, it shouldn't be pinpoint accuracy. I mean, even in today's day and age with parachuting jumps, you, you don't have pinpoint accuracy. You try to. But you don't have yeah. pinpoint accuracy. Yeah. No, no. I, I, can, I can definitely see that too. I understand them wanting to do something. Because in vanilla XCOM, drop downs were... At best, a minor nuisance. Nine times out of ten, you killed them before they could do anything to you. And it was only that ten out of ten that caused any problem whatsoever. So I could see them wanting to make it harder, but I do agree. I think they went a bit too far. Yeah, I think it should have been one or the other. In fact, I even suggested that it could be random. So some drop down in cover flanking you not on uh -huh. Overwatch, and others drop down on Overwatch but not in cover or flanking. Yeah, I, I'd love because that I, idea. I do, I do remember starting to dismiss <coughs> drop downs as just free kills. Yeah, yeah, and, and, of course and, and they did that. definitely need to change that. And they have, as you can see, this guy moved back quite far. If he was over here, he would have been right behind cover. So yeah. this is a good distance for him to be. If if he was in cover at this point, I wouldn't be able to flank you. It's out of my range to get into, you know to flank even on a dash actually. Yeah, even on a dash with my infantry, I wouldn't be able to flank you. So they've increased the distance of the reinforcements. I mean, like this thing, man. What the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> He's like, I'll be with you in a minute. I'll get there. I'll get there in a few turns. Um, sorry, Squee. Um, Chronic is asking, how was your Christmas? Uh, it was good. It was good. It was very relaxing. Um, hey, hey, Gian and I went... Uh... <laughs> we went to go see Christmas lights because, like, in our neck of the woods, there's always one or two streets that have really, really good Christmas displays. And it's very popular. Like, cars line up to go through it. And uh, it takes, like, two hours or so. So we went and did it. Um, it was very pretty. It was also a little bit disturbing. Like, we saw a lot of things. Like, um, we saw one front yard where it had a bunch of inflatable Santas and stuff. But... Um, Everything had deflated and fallen down except for a polar bear that looked very content. So we're thinking maybe he ate them. Uh, we, we saw one front yard that had two Santas, but one had not fallen over at the other's feet. And I'm like, I guess there could only be one Santa. <laughs> Good Lord. Um, we saw like a, a reindeer on a steamroller and Mrs. Claus is on the steamroller. I'm like, what's going wow. on? Wow. Why is everyone killing each other? And then we saw naked babies. Oh, well, you know, uh, somehow the, the old-fashioned kind of Christmas cherubs. Uh, yeah, except they were naked, and it was weird, and it wasn't cute, and we were just kind of like, why? <laughs> why? Why? So, oh. we kind of left there a bit haunted, I think. That, that is, that's brilliant. <laughs> that was your Christmas. Yeah, not bad, not bad. We, um, had family over, um... That's about it, to be honest. Um, trying to think what else we did. My mum went to Spain, so my dad came over with my sister. And uh, we went over there for Christmas Eve, and they came here for Christmas Day. Um, and they came over for my birthday as well. Um, so, yeah, it was nice. It was it was calm. It was calm. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's how Christmas oh. should be. It should be calm. Oh, and I single-handedly funded the uh, sequel for Star Wars. So. The last sequel. The next sequel. As in, I have ensured they will have the funds they need <laughs> by seeing the movie, I think, four times now. Oh, I was going to say, um, they're Disney. They don't really need any kind of charity no, donations. They don't got it. <laughs> no, uh, in between watching it uh, with my nephew and, and Higyun and then uh, my family, like this family member wanted to go see and that family member wanted to go see, I've seen it like four times and I have enjoyed it every time, so... I guess that's the mark of a good movie. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, my single only complaint for the entire movie is that it had to be classic Star Wars and end on a kind of semi-climax. If they hadn't done that, if they just showed What's-Her-Face just, you know, flying off into space and ended it there, I wouldn't really have a complaint for the movie. I loved how original the bad guy was, how he lost. I loved that originality. But the fact that it ended on a climax like, oh no, we have to show Luke Skywalker, it's like, that's not using well, him. That's just spoilers. like... We may have people who haven't seen it yet. Unless your channel, you don't true, care about spoilers. I don't know. Really true. Sorry. Yeah. Um. I should have. Put, uh, uh, morning there. But, but suffice say, to, suffice to say, it's Star it, Wars. It, it's a sequel, so you know he's going to be there. Right. Right. The ending is a bit frustrating. Um. I'm it's, happy. It's unnecessarily least... so. Exactly. Um. If... But at least we know there's another movie, so I'm okay with that. Yeah. That's uh, the thing with with ways. this movie. That's, it's like. It, with this movie, it's like, you don't need to increase the hype for a film that's going to be coming out in a year's time. <laughs> you don't need to do that. Not to mention it's Star Wars. You can end it however you want. You don't need to have a climax. We're not children. The, pe the, the, the fans of Star Wars nowadays are adults. You don't need a climax to keep our attention for a year. Uh, anyway, so, yeah. Let, let's not <laughs> go on too long. Um, I'm just... Um, I don't even you know if you're actually bothered to put people on Overwatch. I suppose I will anyway. Um, just in case, you know, in case you decide to move up. Because you might do that. Let's not let's not kid ourselves. You might. Right, right. Uh, second thoughts, I think I'll just have you two reload. Always a possibility. Uh, and you. But yeah, um, actually today in a month, I think, is XCOM 2. Or is it yesterday in a month? Done, done. It'll be a while before I get around to that game, but I am excited for it. It's yeah. weird. I I think because of video games I've these days, I, I don't watch. get as hyped as I used to. I used to be one of those guys, the day it releases, I'm there, I've waited in line, I'm ready for this game. <laughs> and now because I've been burned one too many times, I guess, I'm like, yeah, I'm excited. This game's come out. That's great. I'll get to it. You know? <laughs> I refuse to, I think, after, like I said, I mean, I've, I've been burned by quite a few games that I got so hyped and excited for just to find out that everything was locked behind DLC or the ending made no sense or, you know, whatever, that I yeah. don't pre-order games anymore. I don't, it's rare that I play them. The only two games I think this whole year I've played about when they came out, none of them were like the day they came out. Um... Destiny the Taken King I played maybe a week or two after it came out and Fallout 4 maybe oh, two weeks after it came out and those are the only two games for the entire year everything else has just kind of been like when I got to it I on the other hand am actually quite excited for XCOM for Axis they they're very kind to their franchises and XCOM was their first kind of stab at the XCOM series, again, like, bringing it back to life. And they were very worried about how it was taken. So they kept things on rails way, way too much. And I completely understand that. And it makes sense. But knowing that they don't have to anymore, and they're, they're happy that they're not, and that there are going to be elements in the early game that will be random. Like Civilizations, how the maps are completely randomly generated. If they do with XCOM what they're doing with Civilization, that's all I need. I need that random element to create the basis for a game that is completely replayable. Just over and over again. And they they have no reason to make me think that they wouldn't. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I am I'm hyped so for the game. Think, yeah. So you think the story is not going to be, uh, okay, take down the UFO. Now you take down the UFO, get this. Now that you got this, the overseer thing. You think it's going to be much more random than that? Um... Honestly, I have no idea how the missions are going to go. Um, all XCOM games have had terror maps, uh, terror missions, for example. So this game obviously will have terror missions. But if you think about it, if most of the world or all of the world is under the control of the aliens, what is going to cause the aliens to do terror missions on cities they already own? Unless, once they start to fall into your control, then they're going to start doing terror missions. They can also shoot down your ship, so there's going to be that base as well. You also need to stop them leveling up their, their troops with new technology, so there's going to be that as well. Not including the, the, the story arc that we don't know yet. So, I think there's going to be more to it than council mission every month, um, one UFO every month, two or, or three abdu abductions every month, like it was in XCOM the original, which was like clockwork. It really was. Right. You could write down yeah. a sheet like, okay, we've had the UFO this month. I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, um, that's true. 
but yeah, things are going to be a lot more varied. Um, right, uh, sorry, in the... Squee, uh, uh, just, just, what just, just, book just... do Grim Spells and Class come from? Oh, uh, they come from um, 13th Age True Way is the expansion. So you'd need to get that for the Necromancer class. Um, uh, just move my guy up to... Wait, why does it say red? He's not flanked by anything. Oh, he's flanked by his friends. Kind of ignore that. Oh, right, right. <laughs> I'm trying to okay, hide okay. that. Uh, move him up to a little bit to your left. There's that full... One more. One more. You, you were... That the 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 last one you were at, but that right one? above it, uh, right, right above up. that one. Yeah. Oh, that one. I didn't see that one. That one. Yeah. Move him right there. Okay. Put him on Overwatch. Overwatch. I do like the idea. Okay. I I love and I fear the idea that all the maps will be procedural generated. There's a certain comfort to knowing a map and knowing its layout, but there's also a certain excitement to knowing that every map is going to be different. So. In the um, end, I love it. But there is that little part of me that's going to be like, I'm so screwed. Well, here's the thing. Map, maps don't need to be procedurally generated. They will be for the game. Even um, even story missions will be procedurally generated, which is awesome. Um, but they've said it doesn't need to be. People can make their own maps, and they can make it as random if they want. They can recreate the maps from XCOM 1 in, 1 in the expansion, if they wanted to, and just have it be that set map with no random element to it. So for the, for the game itself, and this is what I love, it's, it's the mods that has me excited. The game will keep me going long enough, more than long enough, for the mods to be like, oh my god, all this free stuff that people are just doing. Which, I, honestly, I'll probably be making mods for it as well. Um, yeah. End the turn. I will say... Oh god, reinforcements! I will say I'm probably going to spoil myself a bit. I'm probably going to watch um, a Let's Plays of it. Okay, you've got one re way. reinforcement there and another one here. Okay. Oh, oh, because that worked out so well last time. Well, to be honest, this guy, he knows what's up. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. This sectoid, this sectoid didn't really get the memo. I mean, <laughs> it's like he's looking at his, the body of his dead friend over there, going, "Oh, huh." <laughs> it's like if you imagine the scout ship racing across there. Here, he jumped out about this point and flew down and went. Bang! Straight into the wall. Splat. Landed. Oh god. A, a semi concussion. <laughs> he's like, oh, what's happening? And then everybody's just just turn him turn around, and he's like, oh, um. oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> and then on the other side of the map, he's like, commander, um, I may have missed the drop zone. <laughs> I was aiming for the truck. I may have missed. Yeah, the first one. Yeah, the first one. Shut up. <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> so, wait, yeah, you took your turn, so it is my turn, yeah, right, okay, so it is my, you need to go on Overwatch, so, yes, and these guys should be on Overwatch, which, oh, bollocks, I shouldn't even change that side, but that's no big deal, I will just end the turn, the AI's off, end the turn, and put all your soldiers in Overwatch, which they should be anyway, so, okay, so, AI goes on, you see, <laughs> This infantry here, he moved back to shoot that thin man. I kind of want to get him to back, in, get him back into, into position, but what's the point? Honestly, really, what's the point? I could, could put him back into position, but eh, it's, no. It's not like he's not doing a good job where he yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, he's he's doing his uh, he's doing God's work, you know, the back of the squad where the <laughs> sniper should be. <laughs> Even though he's an infantry who is, you know, generally frontline soldier. Um, I don't really know what to do. I mean, I guess I'll move up. I have low profile. Uh, the AI's on, yeah. Okay, so... How far can you move? I think I will move here, because that'll, be, that'll give me partial concealment. Whoa! Oh, okay. I was completely wrong. <clears throat> not only did it not give me concealment, but I was also in range of your thing, man. That 2% almost got you, pal. It almost got you. Sniper, can you hit your 49%? I'd Please, like to point out... Hold on, I'd like to point out this thin man is behind full cover. 49%? Really? I mean, I've got a scope and a laser sight. Really? That doesn't seem right. I'll tell you what. Can you possibly give me 
say, 59%. Would that be fair? Okay. How about you give me 59%? I think that's fair. I'm uh, sorry, are you asking me? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying if that's okay. I'm saying if that's okay. okay. Zhang, move back. No. Okay, you're not going to give me 59% yet, are you? No, you're not. How about we move you, Gunner? Kind of, kind of out of the way. Um, you know, I suppose I'll put you up here. And assault, you can go there and hunker down. All right, all right, forty-two percent, but that's my final offer. <laughs> forty-two. Okay, let, let's make it thirty-eight. Last chance, thirty-eight. Okay, gonna move over. Oh bollocks! What the hell am I doing? He's got um, he's got squad sight. You could hit him anyway. Well, screw it. Now, can I have that? Here we go. That fifty-nine percent that I wanted. Was it all worth it? <laughs> oh, I suppose I had to move the the gunner to get the sniper. Yeah, his extra ten percent. Okay, Lone Wolf has kicked in. 59%. It looks good. Oh, it oh, is. But not <coughs> enough to kill. That's and I um, got my Thin Man medical kit. Oh, you wait until all of your soldiers have regen. That is going to be a pain for me. At that point of the game, I think I'm just going to change the way the turns work and give my soldiers their turn back as opposed to switching sides. Because <laughs> when all of your enemies are regening twice as quickly and I have to keep track of that. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, that's, no. That's, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll that make sure that doesn't happen. But not like it's going to matter. I'll just re retreat everyone until they're healed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which you... I mean, why wouldn't you do that? Right. <clears throat> um... Let's bring you there. So, what have we got? One Overwatch and everybody else hunker down. So, Overwatch and you three hunker down. Everybody else taking their turns. And grab you up here. Who's still on Overwatch. He's all the way at the back thinking, It's okay, I'm sure they'll run to me. They'll just sprint all the way across the map to me and I'll get my Overwatch shot. Yeah. Um, or you then. So, you're, you're two thin men here. Okay, um, <clears throat> the first one's going to follow in the steps of the uh, last one. Actually, no. He's going to go up to, go to your right, that full tombstone to your right. Almost directly to your right. Uh, the, uh up, this, up, this up, one, up, sorry. Up, up on the, uh, up on the right column. So, no, no, not that quite that far. Go back, <laughs> a bit. Go back down towards me. Uh, go to your right. This one? Nope, keep going to your right. This one? That one right there, yeah. Okay, so you want to dash over here, yeah? Yes. And that's with the front thin man, no, no, yeah? No, no, not with him. Not with, with him. The, the, the with the back the thin truck. man. Gotcha, okay. Guy in the truck. Okay, that's not a dash. Here we go. Jumpy legs. Whee! Show off. Whee! Oh, he can see people. Who he can he can see? see? Oh, don't, he can see people. He. Oh! <laughs> okay, no, he can see. Oh, 1%. Do you want to take your 1%? Um... Can you spit from there? Let's find out. You... I mean, you kind of can. I wouldn't. Kind of can. Yeah, May do it. Maybe it'll work. You want to do it, yeah? Do it. Yeah, do it. I mean, it's not like I. Well, I'd be giving up my Overwatch, though. No, keep the Overwatch. So you want this guy on Overwatch, yeah? Yeah. Because Ass is not going to be much, very effective. And. This Thin Man. This Thin Man who? is going Wait, who to can you see? stay. Oh, he can, only, he can only see the enemies, the his friends behind him. He can't see this soldier though who he overwatched. Which would make sense. I mean, that's why I aimed for because it's he can only see right. this corner around. It should be concealment. But you uh, managed to get an overwatch, overwatch anyway. Him. So both overwatch, yeah? Yeah, both overwatch. Okay, so... Um, sweet, I've got to point out that I think that maybe all the uh, reinforcements you get... If by the time I get to this tree I will spawn you in a chrysalid if it hasn't spawned yet, which I know it, okay. it should spawn. Um, because yeah, in vanilla it was a muton, but but um, Longwood didn't like that because it gave people the opportunity to capture a muton and get an alien grenade way way earlier than you should. So they turned into a chrysalid, which you know, fair enough. Um, okay, so yeah, I guess I will just peek around the corner, I suppose. Oh come on! I don't believe that... Okay, I'm saving and loading. I, 
I do not. Okay, there is no way that thin. Because you didn't move, you just stayed in Overwatch. There's no way that thin man got on Overwatch behind these gravestones, but now the scout can't look and see him return. No, yeah. there's there's no. definitely it, it, something wrong here. Obviously, it looks like he can't see more than three feet. I say we Yeah, look. yeah. That I, I didn't spot that he, he couldn't see that far. I just thought there was a problem with the. Um, with the enemy not being spotted, not his entire sight. That's better. If only that. If it was that simple in real life. Okay, you out. You can't. You're out of range. <clears throat> Sniper, do you still have your lone wolf? Yes, you do. I can. How much defense have I got? Forty-five. I could hollow target, but honestly, nah. Fifty-nine. Go for it. <clears throat> It looks good, but I'm going to say it's a miss. Oh! oh! And it would have been enough to one-shot him. Boo. 